I think a lot of us have had to still deal with that, still have to deal with living in the both worlds. Right. But Gina, you were forced to embrace one identity in Hollywood, uh -huh. right? <laughs> I, I feel like I was living in three worlds. Mm -hmm. There was my world that I grew up in also, Spanish-speaking, home, Cuban parents, and then you go out into the world, and, and I'm speaking English, and I'm in the Bronx, South Bronx, Did having you know? a great time. That's right. <laughs> yes. And then going into this industry as an, as an actress, then nobody recognizes you as either one. Yeah. There was mm -hmm. no place for me as a Latina. And then as a black woman, I just, I didn't identify as a black woman because for me it was, it was cultural. Mm -hmm. Because of course I present black, I am a black woman, I am also Cuban. When you're here in the United States and they ask you to be in a box, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and you don't fit into the box. Mm -hmm. Culturally, it was different. It was not one that I identified with. But to work, to survive, it was something that I had to learn. Mm -hmm. To then learn to be whatever black was. It wasn't until I had an accident in 1990 where I was paralyzed, mm -hmm. and I felt people's prayers. There were millions of people oh. praying for me worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I could feel it as an energy. Wow. I felt like I was plugged into the wall. Oh, and I would wow. absorb that into my body and imagine it reconnecting nerves and doing all these things because it was powerful. And my family would walk into the room and they'd be crying mm. and thinking, oh, she's in denial. She doesn't realize that she's not gonna walk again and all this. And I would say to them, it's gonna be okay. Damn. I'm telling you, it's gonna be okay. Just relax. I'm gonna do this. And they, couldn't believe, but I was plugged in. Mm.